Hi, my loves. It has been a hot minute since we have, you know, regrouped right here on the channel. I have been absent. I've been sick for almost a week now. Today, I'm at the other end. I feel loads better. So, I figured let's do a fridge clean today. I am going to do a deep clean of the whole house, but we're going to be here forever in a day because we all know my deep cleans are very deep. So um, I'll film that throughout the week and then I'll upload that the following week. If you are new here and you like that kind of content, then make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Today's fridge clean, we're going to be using hypochlorous acid. For those of you that are not in the know with hypochlorous acid, hypochlorous acid falls into the disinfectant category when it comes to our cleans. So for those of you that are familiar with the C before D method, this means we clean first and disinfect afterwards. This is what you should be doing every single time in and around your kitchen. Then that's where you're going to use hypochlorous acid. Hypochlorous acid is kind of it's not a new thing but in my house anyway it is firmly the new kid on the block it works very quickly at eliminating viruses bacteria you can get it in your mouth and it doesn't harm you you can get it on your skin it is in fact actually very good for eczema so fun fact hypochlorous acid basically resides within our being that is quite cool i think so our white blood cells produce hypochlorous acid to fight off infection and we've essentially got it in spray form here to eliminate the germs and bacteria of the outside world and like i said it works very very quickly but it is non-toxic so you can use it in your fridge if it does go on your food it's not gonna harm you or anyone. It's perfectly safe. I mean, don't go drinking it, but if you was to ingest it for whatever reason, a small amount, it's not gonna do you any harm. Um, so that is why I am supporting the hypochlorous acid movement. <clears throat> My throat is gonna keep going because I'm still, you know, although I'm better, I'm still a bit like, whoa, fun. So I need to go to Sainsbury's, do the food shop and get all the food. Robbie the Ranger wants to do a barbecue this weekend. The sun has come out. He is so terribly British and I love him so much for this. But he was like, babe, I might do barbecue this weekend. So get some like, you know, barbecue bits when you're in Sainsbury's. And I was like, okay, I will. So I'm going to do that. Um, but yeah, before we do that, let's empty out the fridge. I did have someone come onto the channel a little while ago asking me if I could do a fridge clean. This is one of my fridge deep cleans. So like I said, C before D method, the first part is going to be dish soap, the second part hypochlorous acid. Um, if you want to know where I got my hypochlorous acid from, as always, I will link everything that I've used in the description box and you can go and find it. Um, it is a bit more spenny than a bottle of bleach. So you pick your poison, clean with whatever you're comfortable cleaning with. So um, pick up your cleaning tools. Let's start by completely emptying the fridge out. Once it is completely a blank canvas, we can then go ahead and start cleaning and then move on to the next
watching today's vlog, my darlings. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, do not forget to click the like button. It helps the channel. And if you miss me throughout the week, like I miss you, head over to my shorts right here on YouTube and you can watch my little in-between videos. There's a mixed bag there from just funny stuff to did you knows, which by the way, I love a did you know question. So if you wanna learn new things that will be of no importance in your life whatsoever, then go and watch them because they are quite interesting, I think anyway. If you're not into that, then just stick around here and we can just cling together. Okay, love you, bye.